How's it going, everybody? My name is Jay Garcia. I'm the author of the Dart FFI command line mod player. Um, I wanted to just give you guys a sneak peek as to what I'm doing to prepare for uh, publication of this module. I'm going to go through in the future and actually create a long form in-depth review, but I'll just give you guys a high level as to what this thing is, how it works and so forth. So first and foremost, it is a Dart FFI example that leverages some compiled libraries. One is Live OpenMPT, which essentially is a music player that uses old mod, uh, excuse me, old Amiga mod formats um, and some newer ones. Put that aside. And then it also uses a custom compiled version of Port Audio. Now, both of these you can technically get by using Brew or using something like uh, apt get or apt get. But I wanted to just show an example in this repo how you could download a dependency, compile it, and then link it. So the CPP code that I have written essentially creates ex exposed functions to open MPT and essentially will spawn the thread that uses open MPT with port audio to generate music. The class that we have will also, if I can find the right, excuse me, uh, that also will copy the essential buffer data. So um, if you're not used to dealing with audio, essentially it's long streams of data and what this does is every time a callback from port audio is invoked, that's what I have highlighted on my screen, it will essentially copy that data to a separate buffer or a separate uh, array of, of floating points. And at some point, our Dart code will actually go and fetch that information. It'll fetch that information and then it will, based on the number of columns it can draw, create a uh, an average of those sums or whatever, and then it will draw them and so forth. So let me just walk you through uh, some of the changes as far as executing. So I'm going to re-execute re this on Mac OS X. So we have left and right now discreetly being rendered. What I shared with you guys was actually incorrect. I had a bug in the code. Surprise! Yay, engineering! Um, I also created an environment where you could resize the terminal and it updates and so forth. So, um, I also went to make sure that this thing should run on Linux as well. If I pull open my VM, I should be able to just run it using a video game song that we create, excuse me, a song we created for our video game. And we see the same thing happens, it works. It's a little slower because it's on a VM. Yay! And also this song is actually mono, so left and right channels are the same. So, uh, on the Dart side, there's really no magic, um, aside from maybe some of the, the FFI stuff I'm doing, like uh, like I mentioned, streaming the, the buffers. So, basically what I'm doing is pulling up or, or uh, copying the... Um, Pointers, uh, so basically I, I, the buffers for the audio comes in, in a, a struct, and that struct in essence is pointers to a bunch of floating points. I mean, it really isn't magic, but um, if you kind of look down here, yep, sorry, it's a little, it's not, <laughs> my screen isn't <laughs> oriented for prep for a uh, presentation, but um, you'll actually see this is what the struct looks like. So um, if I go to the C code and get to that point where we're actually getting the buffers. Let's see. Stereo audio buffers. Here we go. So this is the CPP code that essentially will create the struct for us and it actually will just allocate the memory, fill in the buffer by copying the, the floats, and then it returns it. And again, we are exposing this through this guy. So I will create an in-depth video in the future. Uh, but before I do that, I actually want to make sure that I get the readme in the repo finished so that anyone can ideally um, just kind of start it up, you compile the dependencies and start to link things and then see it working. So um, appreciate the patience. Um, I've been a little overwhelmed with some of the requests I've gotten offline, but 
Um, I hope this at least satiates some of your uh, requests for information. So I'll post more when I have um, finalized the publication. So thanks for your time.